Hello, I'm just here to wish you a Merry Christmas and an amazing 2023. And you better believe it, because 2022 was what is known as a six year. Now six is the number of the element ether that we're no longer using here in, in sort of Western astrology. But ether is also seen as glue. So all we could do in 2022 was to try and keep stuff together. Now, 2027, 2023 is a seven year. Two and two and three is seven. And seven is the highest number of protection and healing. So, you know, it's going to be a much higher energy in the new year, which is awesome. Um, and um, I just wanted to say that, but I also thought then, since, I, since I'm here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and uh, let's not forget, I wanted to thank you for um, your support, uh, watching all these videos. Um, thank you for the comments. Um, thank you for returning to, to the channel. Um, really, really appreciate it. Um, I then thought, well, I might as well just combine it with the, uh, <clears throat> with the solstice reading, because on the 21st of December um, is the winter solstice. And what that really means is that obviously it's the shortest day and the longest night. Now, this is on the 21st. And it's coming in fully at 9.48 p.m. here in the UK. And on the 23rd of December, we're having a new moon. New moon, the one liner is, they are associated with new beginnings, and that is not wrong. <laughs> but because we're having the longest night, darkness in astrology is just another element. It's another construct, another concept. The idea is when there is a new moon on the 23rd or, or the solstice on the 21st, is because there is less light or no light, there is no distractions. So that's the time for you to finally calm down and let that brain of yours idle a little bit and don't overthink. So it is a time of rest. And that's important because we're heading towards um, Christmas and the... Um, the, festive, uh, the festivities that it oftentimes brings. So um, I hope you're not going to be stressed out, right? Um, anyway, <laughs> to each their own. Point I'm trying to make is, after uh, the new moon, which is on the 23rd this month, right after, when the, when the moon turns from being not illuminated to turning into a crescent moon, you will find the moon sort of in the corner of Venus. Now, Venus is the planet of love. And what that means is, while you, are, while you will likely not actually see it or necessarily feel it because it's not illuminated or only very slightly illuminated, positive energy, high energy, and maybe even love is coming in for all of us. So it is awesome to have that towards the end of a challenging year and uh, knowing that 2020, uh, 2020, why do I want to say 2027 because it's a seven year, 2023, knowing that 2023 will be, energetically speaking, a much higher year. It will also be the year where you're no longer going um, to put up with stuff that isn't for you. So be prepared for all the massive costs that you need for the solicitor when you leave the husband or the wife. <laughs> but this is going to be a year, 2023. Uh, where you will take ownership much more of what you want, what you deserve. And self-empowerment is really, really important. Anyway, guys, that's all I got to say. Again, Merry Christmas and um, the videos for the January uh, videos for your star sign have already been uh, recorded. They are in the can and they will go live on the 28th. Um, so and if you haven't done so, please like, subscribe and share. It really does help the channel out if you actually subscribed. <clears throat> um, and that's all I really want to say. So um, Merry Christmas. See you all in the new year. Love you very much. Again, thank you for all your support. Have a good one. Bye-bye.